Hey guys, I'm Ryan from Ryan's Diesel Service. Um, today here we got a 2019 L5P in the shop. It's getting one of our upgraded turbos. Real important thing that we always stress to you guys when you guys buy a turbo from us, and this is something we're gonna show you, this truck actually came in running and driving and didn't have any issues. However, um, there was a pretty good boost leak in this system in this truck that would have caused premature failure uh, to the turbo. Um, this is one thing that guys will call back in, you know, they'll call us and say, hey, you know, I bought a turbo. It's got, you know, somewhere between three and 6,000 miles on it. The turbo's exploded, it's junk, and they're all irritated and they're all mad. The thing that they don't realize is, turbos don't just fail for no reason. If it's something on a manufacturer end, generally that thing's gonna last probably less than 10, 15 miles and it's gonna explode. So if it's something that, you know, any, anywhere over that, you know, three to 6,000 mile range or anything around there, depending on how bad the boost leak is, that's one of the most common failures that we see. Uh, like I say, in this case here, Jesse found this boost leak in this truck, which we're gonna show you in a second here. We haven't fixed anything yet. We kinda wanna show you how we do our boost leak tests here and that sort of thing. There's a bunch of different ways to do it, but we'll show you the way we do it here in the shop and that sort of thing, and uh, something you guys can start looking out for on your end. So this right here is actually a real cheap Amazon boost leak tester. Uh, this kit was actually, like I say, bought right off of Amazon. Reason why we wanna show you this is you can use a cheap one right at your own house. You don't have to go and have the fancy one. We have fancy ones here. Um, we actually made it, uh, some of our own as well too. Again, this works just fine. Make sure you get your clamps tightened down though is the biggest thing. When you do a boost leak test, 40 PSI is what you wanna take it up to. We talk to guys all the time that'll say, oh yeah, I boost leak tested my truck and I, I took it up to you know 25 PSI. Well, the turbo is gonna produce more boost than that. Especially if you have, you know, guys that have modified exhaust, that sort of thing, or the turbo whistling and the engine noise, you're never going to hear a boost leak over, you know, say 20, 25 PSI because the truck's just going to simply be too loud. So in this case, with what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take the system up to about 40 PSI. Watch yourself when you do this and be careful. You don't want this thing flying off and hit yourself in the face. So you want to go ahead and boost that up. As you can hear down there, as you can see, there's a wrench already down on there because we know there's a boost leak. Right down there in that lower charge boot is where it is. You can hear it coming in. You can actually watch on his gauge. It drops pretty quickly. So again, you're gonna have some drop over time, obviously, once you guys do this, but on a sealed system, it should not leak that quickly. So had we not done this, this would have been a premature tur turbo failure. This guy probably, based on how this leak is and that sort of thing, probably would have lasted, hmm, say four or 5,000 miles if I had to roughly guess. You know, like you say, this isn't the worst that we've seen, but this definitely would have been a problem down the road. So another good point that uh, Jesse, our tech, just brought up here is this. Obviously, you're going to hear air movement going through the system, so realize that. What we tell guys is go ahead and take your hand if you want to actually feel around there. Once you have it brought up, you can kind of generally see soap water and like a water bottle, squirt bottle, something of that nature also work too. Just something to kind of go and feel around there. You're going to hear, like I say, air movement going through there, but it's when you hear that hissing noise, that's something that you want to look at. So. Like I say, boost leaks, cannot stress this enough. Definitely, definitely make sure, especially on your older trucks, you really wanna look at that. You know, if you guys are just pulling just, you know, the discharge off on the compressor housing, you're not really touching anything else. Again, had nothing else been tracked, like I say, this, this would have been a problem. So we can offer upgraded turbos for your diesels. Uh, we do everything, the big three, Duramax, Cummins, and Power Stroke. You can find us at uh, ryansdieselservice.com is our website. We've got a bunch of different options on there. You can also give us a call anytime.